Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna do Mickey and Minnie hot chocolate bombs. These are super fun to do for the kiddos. So like always, I start with my double boiler and melt my uh, candy melts, my chocolate melts. I use Giardelli's uh, dark chocolate flavor melting wafers. Today I'm going to use smaller molds than I normally use and we're going to use two different size. The first one is going to be the 15 millimeters mold um, and these are going to be for the head part of the Mickey Mini. I cut them just like I do my regular 70 millimeter ones. You could put them in a regular cupcake pan or a mini cupcake pan like I have here. The second one is the 40 millimeter mold and those we're going to use for the ears. So for every two molds of the head you're going to need one uh, four of the smaller ones i also cut these like i do my molds in my other videos but i leave a little bit bigger lip on these because they will fall through in the mini muffin pan and it makes them hard to handle so leave a little bit larger lip on these so my chocolate is ready it's all melted just sitting here very low temperature ready to go again we get about a little bit less than a tablespoon on these Put them into your mold and just like I do in my other videos, first round we're going to take that chocolate right to the edge, roll it around until the whole side is coated. The first time you go around the chocolate will be a lot softer, easier to roll into your cup. Second time it will cool off a little so it takes a little bit longer. Again I'll show you in the second mold, just take it right up to the lip and roll it around till it's covered right to the edge. You're going to do the same exact thing for the smaller molds. Just use maybe a little bit less chocolate and then do exactly the same. Remember if anything falls outside or if anything's on the edge of the mold, just use some sort of flat surface knife scraper to clean it up and get that chocolate right to the edge and leave all your excess chocolate in there it'll cool down a little bit and it'll be ready for the second round Okay, now that we have all the molds done once, I let them sit for a little bit. If you're not doing a lot of them, just till the chocolate cools down a little bit and you'll see that it gets a little bit thicker. And then we go around again. And like I said, it's gonna be slower because it is cooler. So it might take a little bit. Sometimes you may even have to shake it or wiggle the mold so that the chocolate comes down off of it. Now you go ahead and get your excess and put it back into the pot because it is cooler you'll have to shake it out of there and get all the chocolate out once you're done you have a nice smooth edge just get your scraper take everything off and it's ready to be put ready to cool you're going to do the same exact thing for the smaller ones no difference in these molds it'll be cooler same it'll be a little bit thicker a little bit slower. Roll the chocolate in your mold all the way to the edge. And once you're done with that, you take your excess chocolate, and flip it over and let it drip right back in. All right, now we're done with all the molds. Now, because I'm using the mini muffin pan, I'm gonna make sure my bigger molds are nice and flat. I don't want them to lean over and then the chocolate lean to one side. Again, there's two for each of the head and then four of for each of, for the ear, so they have two ears for each, and you'll see later how we put that together. I refrigerate them about set five to seven minutes just to get them hard and ready for building. While we wait, we're gonna do Minnie's bow. This is just a mold that you can get on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. And you just put uh, the melts. We're going to 
melt them up and we're going to put them in there. I use these for Michaels. They're very, very good. The taste, I wouldn't use for big surf, big items, but for the small little decorative stuff, it's, it's good. Put it in the pastry bag. I'll put down below the link for that. Put it in the microwave one minute at 50% power and then another additional 30 minute 30 seconds i'm sorry at 50 percent power until it's soft and then you just go ahead and use the pastry brush or pastry bag to put it right into the mold um, a lot of people have asked what clips i'm using i'll add the link below on amazon they're actually sewing and quilting clips i do sugar cookies and it's great for using for the pastry bags when you have different color icing um, so again, we just put the candy melt right into the cavity of the mold and you want to make sure that you bang it so that it gets all the air bubbles out and the melt goes straight down underneath to the bottom, nice and smooth, nice and flat. Now I get my scraper and I take off any excess on top. I'm just going to go ahead and use this paper towel to get it out of the way, but just scrape off any excess on the top, anything on your mold that you want to take off. Give it a couple more pounds down so that the air come out and then we're going to refrigerate those for the same about seven minutes. Now my molds are all done. Don't wanna leave them in the refrigerator any longer than you have to just to get them to set. If you wanna leave them on your counter, it will take longer, but you can leave them out to set. Again, push down on the little lip on the side so that it doesn't stick to your mold when pulling them out or else it will crack them. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other ones. Just smoothly, easily pops right out. Once they're all out, we're gonna get them all sorted and set to fill them. The first thing we're gonna do is I like to separate them, of course, and just make sure you know which is top, which is bottom. Like we've done before in my other videos, I use the same products. This is a cocoa mix that I have made with sugar and the Giardelli Majestic Cocoa. One cup of sugar, one third of a cup of cocoa or else one tablespoon of the sugar, one teaspoon of the cocoa. Premium cocoa powder by Giardelli's. Get it on Amazon. I use these small dehydrated marshmallows. Also get those on Amazon, put the link below. And the very well-known Jet Puff marshmallows. I use the mini marshmallows. Now it's a little trickier with these because the cavities are not as big. So you'll see how we include all the products. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to heat up my little pan and we're just gonna slightly heat it up and then take it right off. It's on low heat. We just want to flatten our edges so that when we go to put the two pieces together, it closes nice and smooth. Now I don't want it really hot, just hot enough that when you're touch, you feel the warmth. We're gonna put it on there just a little bit Roll it around so that it flattens and smooths the edges. Do all your bottom ones first, and then we'll go back and we'll do the top once everything's filled.
Now you want to let these set probably for about 10 minutes so the chocolate sets. When we go to deal with it again, it'll be nice and firm. Now we're going to put our ears together with our heads and create our Mickey Mouse look. The first thing you're going to need is a very small, if possible, a very small spoon, teaspoon. I use these in our culture. We have these for coffee. Um, but I find that if you use a spoon, it makes it better because the ears will melt in a rounded form versus flat on the pan. And then you try to put them on a round head. So just put the spoon on the pan itself until it gets warm. I wouldn't say hot, just warm. Keep touching it with your hand and checking that it's not gonna sit there and melt completely, but it's gonna definitely melt some and soften it enough to put it on. You get your ear and you sit the ear right on the spoon and you'll see that it'll even open up a hole and you place that right against the head. Now make sure that you have it flat on whatever surface, whether a plate, parchment paper, counter, whatever it is, so that it sets. We don't want it uneven and the ear will come right off. I'm gonna pull in a little bit closer so you can see the next one. So again, I'm gonna get the spoon, warm up my spoon on the pan, keep checking it, make sure to touch, it's not burning, you just want it a little warm. Once it's warm, grab your ear, place it right onto the spoon. You'll see it melt right down a little bit and place that right on the head. Now try to keep the ears pretty close uh, you don't want to have them too separated, especially if you're doing a mini because you want to be able to place her bowl. And also, if you make them too wide, you're not going to be able to get the whole entire bomb into a mug. So here I'm going to go through that whole process one more time. So there you go, we got our two bombs ready for decorating. Let those set for about 10 minutes again so that the chocolate sets and the ears get firm. You'll be able to lift it up. If you pick it up too early, they will fall off. The weight will pull them off. I got ready our mini bow. I'm gonna pull out of the mold. It's easy to pull out of the mold. There's plenty of molds you can find um, test different ones depending on the size you like. I like just a small one because it's hard to put anything bigger than that on these molds. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle chocolate on top. You could use anything you want, whether you want to leave them plain, you want to drizzle some chocolate. I have some sanding sugar that I've made myself. There's plenty of ways online you can find how to make them with food color and sugar and just put them in the oven. Um, you could put sprinkles. I made some of these for my kids for Christmas and put sprinkles. I'm going to just use regular chocolate melts like the ones that I made the molds out of. Again, microwave for one minute at 50% power. And then after that, 30 seconds at 50% power until it's nice and soft. And I'm just going to go ahead and drizzle that on top of my mini. And then I'll drizzle it on my Mickey and then put this, uh, sh the sanding sugar right after so that the chocolate will still be nice and warm and soft and act as an adhesive for the sanding sugar. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to get the bowl for Minnie. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use that same melted chocolate to put on the back. That way, again, when it cools off, it would be like a glue holding that bow into place. And there you have it, Mickey and Minnie hot chocolate bombs. Now in order to pack these or give, you know, put as gifts, put in a bag, put in boxes, whatever you choose for your packaging, I still use regular cupcake liners for these. The only difference is I push them down really well, more in a triangle shape. Um, just to sit them on and have something a nice clean surface for them to be transported or put into some sort of box or bag for gifting or for purchase. So here they are, Minnie and Mickey. There's our beautiful Minnie Mouse with her bow and her handsome Mickey with some red sanding sugar. As always, thank you guys for watching and let's uh, put one in a cup and see how this fares out with some nice hot chocolate. Make uh, about a cup of milk, very hot, about two minutes in the microwave. It's all you really need. So thank everybody for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying. I know a lot of people have been giving me nice comments and lots of questions. So feel free to do that below. Thanks again.